It's DJ Sway and LB pumping up your afternoon on Yaron FM. The climax until 6 p.m. In the age of dance challenges and TikTok challenges, what are the copyright rules Mm. um, and how do they apply to dancers and to us as the public who take part in these challenges? We are joined by Gre Lithonolo Makwinja. He is a COO out at Cosbots. In your knowledge of Molao, is Munamuholo Watulahanyo in the right? Are there copyright infringements upon his song when dancers now perform to his song and are getting paid or receiving funds in return for that performance? This song was uh, produced commercial, and by producing commercial, what simply means is you wanted to make money for you as an artist. That is the key thing. Uh, in all performances, that is very relevant. There is an aspect of obviously economic rights, whereby you know an artist creates a song so that they can eat and make money for him. There is also an aspect of moral rights, which are two two sides to every coin. So, looking at what has been happening, there are obviously specific nuances that we need to take out from there. Dancing to her song, there's really nothing wrong with that. But there are issues that can raise which might bring some slight uh, nuance that can be seen as copyright infringement based on how or what we have seen from our end. I don't know what else has been put out there. And one of those things is sharing the song on social media and their own page can be depicted as an advertisement because now there's an issue of maybe synchronization rights that may come in and the advertising and, you know, potential Infringing copyright. The climax, the climax with DJ Sway and LB. Monday to Friday, 3 to 6 p.m.